Hi, it's Tess, and today's tip is 458, and I'm calling it Weight Loss and Building Momentum. Um, I had group with Doc V tonight, and it made me start thinking about something. Um, we were talking about, you know, like how we get in trouble on our journey and how fast, uh, like you can build little habits, and we all start, uh, I always think of that song by uh, John Cougar Mellencamp, uh, Jack and Diane, but we all start up a hill, we're building little things, we're, we're, creating a journey we're learning things we're trying new things we're getting up to the top of the hill and then when we get to the top of the hill and we've built the space we slide down with a huge amount of momentum what it made me what dawned on me when we were talking earlier today is i can't remember a huge span it's like i went really fast into a super morbidly obese place hi bonnie good to see you and hello anyone else who's on i just don't see who you are so hello thank you for being here um but it really made me think today about momentum and that i think there's a lot of momentum in our lives it's whether we recognize what we're putting into that momentum and it was interesting because we were talking today and again i can't share what's said in group with doc v but when i was in group with him i started thinking about my own journey so i can i can share my journey and i was thinking about that I don't know how fast I got to a BMI of 60. It seems like I blinked and I was there. Well, hi from Canada. Good to see you. Hello, hello. Um, I see a few people on. I just don't see everybody's name, so thank you for being here. And today I am talking about momentum, and it kind of came to me through some things we were talking about in group. And again, I, don't, we, I won't share other people's stuff, but I can talk about myself. And I, it dawned on me, like we were talking about, if you want to change anything in your life, it, it goes back to the one thing. It goes back to even high-performance habits with uh, Brenda Bouchard. All of them talk about it's all that little bit of building, that little bit of learning, that little bit of practices that you keep building up, building up, and it's like you're walking up the mountain. You're learning another skill. You're taking another path. You're talking to another person. You're learning something new. You're experimenting with something new, and you're walking up the hill. Once you get to the top of the hill, all of a sudden, momentum, and you turn around and look and you can't believe where you're at. And I started thinking about that from the opposite side of it. I think that happens on the weight loss side of it too. How often do we, I don't like water, I don't like fruits and vegetables, I don't like this, this isn't going to work for me, I don't like this. And then all of a sudden, we've already made the momentum and we've gone down the hill and we look back and we don't like what we've gotten. And it made me realize I wanna be really careful what I'm building as I go up that mountain. I'm so grateful, like even, I, I will not run out of books. And from what I understand, when I go to prosperity camp, I will come home with even another suitcase full of books because I'm always learning something new or something that I'm learning from these guys is being cemented or reiterated or taught in just a different way through one of the other books. And what's beautiful about it is it's given me a picture in my mind today. And the picture is, what am I building? What am I climbing up the hill with? What am I creating? What is it that I'm saying to myself? What are the things that I'm doing for myself? What kind of, what kind of base or foundation in my building for when I roll down that hill. Hi, Karen, good to see you. And it kind of scared me in a way because when I lo went and looked back at it, it's kind of true. I lost 116 pounds a uh, long time ago. This is the second time in my life I've lost over 100 pounds. I lost 116 pounds. Um, I ended up with a medical condition. Everything was building. I was trying this, trying this. All my focus was on the medical condition, not on weight. And they told me not to worry about weight. But uh, I had all these things going on. I felt hopeless. I felt sad. I, all these things were going on. And then all of a sudden, I turned around and the momentum had already taken over. I was down the hill and I was facing a BMI of 60. And it almost feels like it happened that fast. I turned around and looked. Now, I know it doesn't happen that fast. But the problem is we're building momentum for a long period of time before we turn around and recognize that that's what we've done. And it made me think today that I really want to be careful what I'm throwing out there. And these are all warning stock these given us all a million times. Stop saying you don't like water. Stop saying you can't do this. Stop saying you can't walk a step. Stop saying you can't drink a water. Stop saying you can't try a vegetable. Stop saying you can't try a fruit. Stop saying you don't have time to look at a YouTube video. Stop this stuff. Because what it made me realize 
is that what kind of momentum, what am I building up to? When I hit the peak of the hill and momentum kicks in and I'm going to turn around and look back, what is it that I want to have built? What do I want to have created so that when momentum kicks in, when I get to the top of the peak and, and everything takes over and I slide down that hill, am I going to slide into something that I truly want or am I going to get to the other side of it and know that I'm going to have to go up the hill again because I undid everything that I was hoping for? And it really made me think about that. And that for me is a good visual because I... I think I'm auditory, visual, kinesthetic. I think I'm all of them. I'm a Gemini, so I like it all. But I, it made me, it gave me a visual. If I'm complaining about drinking water, if I'm complaining about eating the salad, if I'm complaining about the green smoothie, that's what I'm building on that hill as I go up it. That's the momentum that's going to carry me down. Um, yeah, don't create more. Don't create more obstacles for yourself. Create the beautiful picture. Like I, I've even, and I've said before, um, yeah, yeah. And you know what? You're right. I was um, like 170, 175. Even Doc V was saying that. He's like, you know, you keep moving forward, but it's slow. It's slow and steady. And today I really, I was thinking about that. Like it, it is a momentum. It's a, it's a slow process. I've been, I've been listening to audiobooks. If I'm stuck in the car, I'm listening to audiobooks. I'm reading books. I do research when I do these talks. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna mislead you and let you think I do hours of it. I don't. I just get an idea in my head. When it comes in my head, I assume that that's something I should be thinking about. So when it comes up, I'll like, hey Suri, like today it was give me articles on building momentum. And that's what it kind of came up with. But but that picture of that mountain with Jack and Diane, it made me realize. The first time when I lost 116 pounds, even though I was successful, I had some skills, but I was fighting it because I never thought I could keep it off. And I didn't. I don't think I, a week went by when I hadn't started gaining it back. Then medical problems actually created a really large base of negative energy, negative feelings, negative emotions. And when I hit the peak of that and ended up with momentum down on the other side, I landed at a BMI of 60 and I was very unhappy, very unhealthy and kind of hopeless. I really was hopeless. You know, I said today in group that with everything that's gone on the past couple of years, had I not changed my life back then, it's very likely I wouldn't be alive today. And I do believe that. I truly do believe that. And I don't mean to be harsh and it's only me I'm being harsh about, but it made me realize that I want to be really careful. Hi, Gina. Good to see you. I want to be really careful what I'm building on that mountain going up because it will get momentum. We all gain skills. We all think thoughts. We all build on what we knew the day before. We have to really hesitate and think, is this supporting where my desire is where my goal is because if it's not we have to shift it because I do believe and when I was thinking about it today in group I do believe that I was like at one point maybe barely over 200 and all of a sudden I looked back and I was as I was at a BMI of 60. I know that sounds extreme I know there was a lot of things in between it but because I was building that and walking up that mountain all of a sudden, when I turned around, I was so far down that basically I was at the base of another mountain and I had to start over again, which is why I faced this journey of over 100 pounds twice in my life. I think that picture is helpful to me and maybe it'll be helpful to you. What words are you using? What little tasks are you adding today? What are you using as you climb up your mountain? Are they things that are going to create a beautiful picture when momentum kicks in and you're sliding down that hill on your sled? Or is it something that's going to put a bunch of potholes, rocks, and uh, discomfort on, on, your, on your mountain? And I think, I know I, I like visual pictures. I like analogies. I like that kind of stuff. But I was just thinking today that that's meaningful to me. I may just find some pictures of mountains that I put in different places around the house or in the car or at work. And nobody will even have to know what it is. I'll just say I'm climbing a mountain today. They don't even have to know what it is. But it'll be my reminder. What am I using? What am I adding? What am I pushing forward with on my mountain that's going to give me momentum when I'm on the other side? I thought it was so telling because the articles 
that I was looking at, of course, all dealt with business, but we all know that whether you're dealing with weight loss, relationships, finances, any area of your life, the skills are kind of the same. You just have to apply it to the discipline, whether it's better foods. And even this today, just for those out there, I was, I was in group with Doc V today, and the rule of thumb is 80% food, 20% activity. So you really have to think about and iron out your foods. He actually said 90% food and 10% activity. So thinking about that, when we're building our mountain, I'm not going to be adding thoughts of, I don't like this that's good for me. I don't like this that's good for me. I don't like this that's good for me. I've, I've battled this demon twice now in my life. And I'm six years into this journey now. I can't go back and I don't want to go back. And I'm just hoping by sharing this with you guys, maybe something will connect with for you so that you can not face the journey that I face because I wouldn't want anybody to face what I've already gone through myself. But I'm, I'm not saying that I've had it worse than anybody else. It's just that I should have learned quicker. But you know what? The past is gone. And from now on, I'm going to be skipping up that hill. I'm going to be jumping up that hill. I am creating my recipe for success with every new ingredient I add to my life. Yeah, yeah, see? And you know what, Gina? Doc V did push-ups for us today in group because he said he owed us, so he did some. But it is one step at a time. Like me, I'm working on pull-ups and um, pull-ups. And, oh, thank you, Gina, because that, that really hit me today when Doc V was talking about, um, when he was talking about, like, did I remember? Was it... Do I remember like going from starting to gain the weight to all of a sudden being a BMI of 60? And you know, I truly don't. It happens so fast. I can't really identify things in the road. And I'm like, momentum. I got so caught up in these medical things that were going on and fixing this and not feeling good about myself and not liking that I had to do this and not like, and the thing is, I could have approached all that differently and, and things would have turned out different. So I'm going to make sure that when I'm walking up that mountain, that I'm enjoying that salad. I'm enjoying, and I do like the smoothies. I really, really like the smoothies. I can't wait and I'm really bummed. Lenny Kravitz talked about something called soursop, S-O-U-R-S-O-P. He said it's one of the best fruits he's ever eaten, and it's got so many great things for you, and he wants you to eat it. I'll tell you, here in the north, I can't find this stuff. So I might have to order it online or something like that, which is not what I wanted to do because I wanted it. Yeah, I wanted to see if I could find some local, but I just want to try new things. And I think for all of us, when those negative thoughts start coming in, think about it's it's something that you're building into your mountain. It's something that's going to give you momentum when you hit the other side. So if it's something you don't want, say thank you, but I'm not interested and introduce something else new in. Kind of like Doc these Doc these fat, fat filters. Filter out that that's not going to support you when you get to the top of that mountain. If it's something that's going to put potholes on your ride down the mountain or if it's something that's going to make it painful, just nicely dismiss it and invite in the stuff that feels good. We're going to build some amazing mountains, some amazing adventures, some amazing lives. It's time. It's time for some amazing for all of us. So if something negative creeps in, I don't, I can't, I shouldn't, I won't. Just politely dismiss it and invite in the thing that's going to give you a momentum that when you look back on, you're going to be so proud, so excited, so hopeful and ready to run up the next mountain to see what's waiting on the other side of that one. Thank you guys so much. Let's get on these great mountains together. I'm tired of the other ones. My pothole mountains are a thing of the past. I want to get on that, that uh, tobogganing hill that's smooth sailing and takes me down to a future that I never dreamed possible. And I want you with me. Thank you guys and have a beautiful night. And we'll talk soon. And I'm going to be live in Doc V's Transform Your Life group tomorrow night. So we'll touch base soon. And thank you so much. Bye-bye.